between USC and Syracuse. Um, you guys want to think like all, both of the coaching staffs were recruiting me and going on a visit to um, Syracuse and USC. I'll be coming to Syracuse University. If you're old enough to remember when LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Dwayne Wade came into the league, then you begin to develop an appreciation for this news story that Cayenne Anthony, Carmelo Anthony's son with Lala Anthony, is headed to Syracuse to play for the same school that Carmelo Anthony played for. He picked between USC and Syracuse, but ultimately chose Syracuse. And I watched the interview on 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, and Carmelo Anthony continued to reiterate that he did not want to have so much influence on his son's decision on where he wanted to go. There were 10 different schools, including Florida State and Auburn, that pursued him heavily. But Carmelo Anthony said, you know, I wanted to step back and let him make his own decision. That was very important uh, to him and Lala as well. And so Kyan Anthony uh, talked about, you know, why he chose Syracuse. He talked about the coaching staff and, you know, where he felt like the program was headed not just when he gets there, but in the years to come. He talked about uh, the coach, Coach Autry, and um, he basically said that he's ready to go that route. He wants to go. He ultimately, you know, he's almost basically following in his father's footsteps. And um, I think it's amazing, you know, with LeBron James having his son drafted into the league this year, Bronny James, and also... Uh, Dwayne Wade's son, we, we thought he might hit, you know, the league or do something big in college, but I guess it just never quite went his way. And uh, we know the story of sons of great basketball players, whether you're talking about Marcus Jordan and his brother and, you know, Magic Johnson and his son or whatever, right? It doesn't always pan out, you know, and they asked him, uh, I think it was... Um, the interviewer asked him, do you think that you were surpass the best father-son duo of all time? And, you know, they brought up Bill Walton, Bill Walton and Luke Walton. And uh, Carmelo said, you know, with all due respect to them, yeah, we, we getting them easy. So I like that uh, Cayenne Anthony said that, you know, he, he realizes he have to work on some things. I watched some highlights on him and, and some tape on him. He seems like he can shoot. Uh, he, he seems like he can take it to the basket, but I'm not really sure how his speed is, you know. But again, he's young. He's still in high school, so he have time to develop and get stronger, faster, and all of the above, right? He said uh, one of the difference between me and my father is basically my father was a walking bucket. You know, he'll, he'll bully you and he'll score at will. He says he feels like he has scoring ability, but he can also make uh you know create for others he said i need to improve my efficiency not take too many dribbles to get somewhere and be a better defender off the ball he says he feels like he's getting better as a defender and he practices against some of the best players in the country like Caden mingo dylan mingo and nigel james he says we play a national schedule i'm up for the challenge of covering the other team's perimeter players so, you know, this is a story we definitely going to watch. Uh, I've been hearing about him and, you know, seeing clips on him on social media for some years. But I think it's dope again when you don't have to learn everything on the fly and you don't have to, um, you know, basically your father has already walked that path and he can kind of guide you and show you the way and teach you uh, what the best ways to do it and basically... You know, you always going to have to learn for yourself through life. But the fact that Carmelo literally already played for that organization or that school, should I say, and he's connected in that school. I believe the you know, his name is on the practice facility or the arena or whatever the case may be. Uh, that's huge, man, because now he has guidance and some people will say, well, now he got it easier. He going to have it easy. But the bottom line is, is that you know, he could be that much better. I think there is something when you have to like, 
do it out of hunger. You have to do it out of uh, bringing yourself out of the mud. But also, that's why Carmelo went through everything he through that he went through so that when he have a son, he can show him the way and, you know, they can run with it. But uh, will he ever be better than his father? Who knows, right? Um, when Melo was in high school, we all knew him with that bush at Oak Hill and stuff like that. So whether he ever gets to that height or not, you know, I think it's a great success story. I think it's a great father-son story. And uh, I think it should be applauded and saluted. And it should probably have way more publicity on it. But, you know, hopefully uh, he wants, he said he wants to be called Kai. Hopefully he actually, you know, um, makes a name for himself. And that'll make people have to talk about that dynamic. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. Follow us on all social media. It's the baddest brand in the lane. Champ side. Peace.